What's up guys, in today's video we're checking out this one-to-one -one replica Thor's Mjolnir hammer from Master Ghost Sword. Fine tip, Creative Studio. All right guys, we picked this up on Amazon for about 239 bucks. It's from Master Ghost Swords, one-to-one -one replica Thor's hammer. What, legit for sure. What's it called? Mjolnir. Mjolnir! Thor's Mjolnir hammer. Mjolnir. Mo like a mule? And a mule that's near. It's Thor's hammer. It's a one-to-one -one replica. Looks awesome. Let's go ahead and get out of the box and show you how cool it is. Yeah. Did I break? <gasps> oh, yeah. I'll put this here. My frost! Is it heavy? Mm -hmm. It says it weighs like nine pounds. This is not weigh nine pounds. More? I would say at maybe 15. All right, here it is. This thing is sweet. I love the weight on it. It kind of, it's, it's hollow for sure. So imagine if it was like pure steel. It's just like. I exercise with this though. You can tell it's all metal. Yeah, so there's really two cool. versions of this, right? There is a resin one, which is with some of these really nice statues back here. Right. And then there's die cast, which die cast is like actual molded steel, which is really cool and gives it a really nice effect. Yeah, the resin one was about 150 bucks. Looked really cool as well. This die cast one was about 240. Uh, really cool though. The handle looks great. There's some elements of metal as well. This isn't quite leather, but it feels and kind of looks like leather, but you do have a leather strap here. Very nice. Yeah. Comes with the base. Cradle's in there pretty well. Let's jump into the review. Starting with the base, I think the base is kind of lackluster. Not much really happening. It's just some dry brushing of oranges, a little bit of reds and whites in there. I feel like what would have made this really cool, we probably would have skyrocketed the price, would have been like some embedded lights, like Light, resin, yeah. to give it a lightning effect. I did see another one that had a lighted base, but it's not a die cast hammer. I like the base, I think the sculpt works cool. Yeah, the sculpt's great. It cradles well. I hate the paint job on this. The purples, it's got some orange. It kind of looks like someone bruised a rock, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's just not my favorite paint job. It's like a resin base. I feel like this one would look better, actually, like the bottom. Where you like you have like the natural rock look to it. Yeah, just grays and whites would have been fun. Right, and would have been like so drying from the hammer. The orange and like pinkish purple. Nah. Not sure what they were going for with that. We might have to repaint this ourselves. Yeah, we could totally repaint this. <laughs> um, Next video. So the base is okay. There's nothing on the bottom either. I kind of wish we had something that at least tell us what it is. Like a certificate of authenticity. Yeah, just or something. something telling us about it. It's a two hundred and fifty dollar prop. It's not that expensive, but a nice little shiny sticker that <laughs> says, you know, what it is would have been nice. Let's move on to the hammer because oh, this yeah. thing is awesome. I really like the weight on it. Yes, yeah, nice. you know, it feels like if you're carrying this around on Halloween, you're going to be tired by the end of the night. For a costume, you might want to pick up one of the cheap foam ones. The weight is perfect on this. I wouldn't want it heavier, right. but I wouldn't want it lighter either. It's nice and sturdy. And then check out all the details in it. The hammer's finish is a nice metallic finish. It's got kind of that brushed steel look. Nice and cold as well, I like that. Oh yeah. You got these two big lines carved out of the center where the handle is. As you move around to the sides, you got some nice accent lines on the sides here. And around both sides you can see a really nice bifrost design here on the corners and edges. Yeah, it's like an engraved design. It's pretty much the same design all the way around. I don't think that's a language. I think it's just like a cool design. Yeah, the, right here is where the language cross. is. And then on the center there, what is that? Asgardian text. Right, Asgardian text. Whosoever holds this hammer, if it be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. I handle Mjolnir, you have this fake leather here, which looks like real leather, which they actually use some at the top here. But you have some nice fake leather here with some nice silver accents here to give you that really cool effect that you see in the movies. Yeah, these metal pieces in between the leather actually feel like metal. The uh, brown pieces are not leather, but they have like a... They have that like, like the leather... It's like a hard plastic, but it has a, a nice finish that kind of yeah. feels like leather. And then we do have a nice leather handle here which is cool. I wouldn't recommend carrying it by this nice flimsy strong. leather though. Oh, check it out. What? 
Oh, I thought, I thought you were like, imagine you unscrewing it, it's like a beer chug, and you can just like, cha cha cha. Fill it. <laughs> oh, nice. So you what can see there, you have a, a bolt and a nut right there that holds it together. I'm pretty sure that rides all the way down into the core. This doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. So it's assembled well. That nut is on there really good. And then this piece just screws on to hold it all together. Don't coat it by the leather. And that seems like, like. No, you could. Once you get that screwed in there. I'm gonna imagine you're holding it like, yeah, I can hold this and just drops and smashes your foot. If you drop this on your foot, you're in trouble. Uh, so this piece here, the end, is metallic. It's got more of that Asgardian design to it. Yeah, that cool design work. So that just screws onto the top here. And we'll make sure we put that on nice and tight because we don't want this falling. And this thing's ready to rock and roll. Yeah. I'm always wearing a Thor's hammer. I've seen the foam ones, which look pretty cool. The details on those are nice. But there's something different about touching it. You got right, the like feeling steel. the actual like metal and feeling yeah. of it. And it's got some nice weight to it. You throw this at someone, you're gonna knock them out. <laughs> you throw that at anything and it breaks. I gotta learn how to swing it. <laughs> like yo, like throw like <laughs> next thing you I know. just dislocate my shoulder and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a hole through the wall. Awesome hammer from Master Ghost Swords. We picked this up on Amazon, about 240 bucks. I think it's awesome, except for that base. I think, Boo. We, I think we can give it a new paint job. I'm super excited to add this to our marble every collection. Time I, every time you put it on the base, I feel like you do it more and more reckless. Like the base is solid, hammer solid. Um, you know, it might get a little scuffed up over time, but that steel, it's fine. This thing is awesome. Super happy with this. I wish the base were better. 240 bucks, Master Go Swords. If you wanna add this to your collection, as always, check the links in our description. If you're a Marvel fan like we are, consider sticking around and checking out our other videos. We recently picked up this really cool Iron Man helmet, which you can actually put on really dope. Yeah, it's so cool. A replica helmet of Iron Man, one to one scale, Hasbro Legends. If you want to see more of our Marvel collectible unboxings, stick around and check out our other videos. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll, and we'll see, see you next time. time. Fine tip, Creative Studio.